friends we are at the granary near the farm today let us learn subtraction of four and five digit numbers with three regroupings at this granary look there are 8267 bajra sacks and 3698 corn sacks let us find out how many more bajra sacks are there in the granary here we can get the answer by finding the difference between 8267 and 3000 698 so let us group both these numbers into thousands hundreds tens and ones and then subtract them thus there are 8 thousands 2 hundreds 6 tens and 7 ones bajra sacks and out of these 3000s 600s 9 tens and 8 ones corn sacks let us represent each thousand with a yellow dot each hundred with a green dot each 10 with a red dot and each one with a blue dot so the number 8267 will be represented like this with dots now let us cancel the dots equal to the digits in the subtrahend in each column starting with the dots in the ones column first then the tens column the hundreds column and lastly the thousands column look there are only seven blue dots in the ones column and we need to cancel eight blue dots we cannot subtract 8 from 7 so we regroup 110 to 10 ones now in the tens column there are only 5 red dots left and we need to cancel 9 red dots we cannot subtract 9 from 5 so we regroup 100 to 10 tens the hundreds column has only one green dot left and we need to cancel six green dots we cannot subtract six from one so we regroup 1000 to 10 hundreds so now we represent 8267 with dots like this now let us cancel eight blue dots nine red dots six green dots and three yellow dots we are left with nine blue six red five green and four yellow dots so we get in all four thousands five hundreds six tens and nine ones which is equal to four thousand five hundred sixty nine thus there are 4569 bajra sacks in the granary
more bajra sacks in the granary. Now, let us look at the process of subtraction of these numbers directly. Step 1. Subtract the digits in the ones column. As the ones are not enough, we regroup the tens. That is, six tens and seven ones is equal to five tens and seventeen ones. Therefore, seventeen minus eight is equal to nine ones. Step 2. Subtract the digits in the tens column. Here, as the tens are not enough, we regroup the hundreds. That is, two hundreds and five tens is equal to one hundred and fifteen tens. Therefore, 15 minus 9 is equal to 6 tens. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. That is, 1 minus 6. Here also, the hundreds are not enough. So, we regroup the thousands. That is, 8 thousands and one hundred is equal to seven thousands and eleven hundreds. Therefore, eleven minus six is equal to five hundreds. Step four. Subtract the thousands. That is, seven minus three is equal to 4. Yippee! We got the answer. 4,569. Thus, 8,267 minus 3,698 is equal to 4,569. Wow, that's a big number for sale. Hey, look, there are 6,212 rice sacks on the farm, out of which 1,647 sacks have been loaded to be sent to the market. Now, let us find out how many rice sacks are left at the farm? Here, we have to subtract 6,212 and 1,647 to find the answer. Subtract the ones. That is, 2 minus 7. As the ones are not enough, we regroup the tens. That is, one ten and two ones is equal to zero tens and twelve ones. Therefore, twelve minus seven is equal to five. Subtract the tens. That is, zero minus four. As the tens are not enough, we regroup the hundreds. That is, two hundreds and zero tens is equal to one hundred and ten tens. Therefore, ten minus four is equal to six tens. Now, Subtract the hundreds, that is, 1 minus 6. Here, the hundreds are not enough. So, 
we regroup the thousands. That is, six thousands and one hundred is equal to five thousands and eleven hundredths. Therefore, eleven minus six is equal to five hundredths. Lastly, subtract the thousands. That is, five minus one is equal to four. Thus, six thousand two hundred twelve minus one thousand six hundred forty seven is equal to four thousand five hundred sixty five. Therefore, four thousand five hundred sixty five sacks of rice are left at the farm. Wow! It was fun to learn and understand the concept with grains.